It's the day Mina Hines knew something had to be done. I was very shocked. Um, yeah, I, I didn't know how to react at first because it was like, I can't believe that happened on my campus. Mina takes pride in her school, West Charlotte High. So when students got in a fight over a book bag and one fired off a shot outside the school, it was a defining moment for her. It, that just showed how serious it is. We need to make a change. We need to do something. Police seized 23 guns from CMS campuses since school started in August. Mina is working with her fellow students to resolve conflicts before they escalate. They don't even know how to communicate. It's like such a lack and they just use violence. That's the first thing they go to. They don't have that safe outlet. Now they do. Campus Crime Stoppers is doubling the reward money, now offering $500 to anyone, including students, teachers, and even community members, who sends in an anonymous tip about a gun on campus if it leads to an arrest. If it's anonymous, then it's like, okay, I can protect myself and I can protect a whole bunch of others and nobody will even know. CMPD says they've already had two people get paid hundreds of dollars this school year. They gave detectives a tip, but what they didn't give is their name. And it ended with police taking guns out of the hands of students. It definitely uh, affects their ability to learn, you know, having to look over their shoulder and, and, and wonder if anybody has a, or, or has a weapon at the school or intends to cause any type of damage. So it's very disturbing. Mina believes the program will pay off. If there's any fear, kids are going to want to tell somebody. Now, over the next month, CMPD right is going to be making a very big push to get the word out to campuses and let students know that the reward money is doubling. And so that's a big deal. And one of the ways that you can report an anonymous tip on campus is through this app. And we have put all of the information on other ways you can report campus crimes on our website, qcnews.com. I'm live at West Charlotte High School. Robin Kennedy, Queen City News. Yeah, hopefully more people will come forward. Robin.